here on TV Sapienza. It's actually a very special edition because today is the uh, 27th of May, Saturday, and all over the world we are celebrating Children's Day, specifically in Nigeria. We are celebrating the kids, the children, the essence of having a child around us and making that child feel loved and cherished. My name is Omar, your very sweet on radio and TV. Welcome all of you all over the world to Phoenix Culture. And we have in our live studio students from Higher Heights College. I mean, you need to hear from the students, they're amazing. We'll be having an amazing conversation today on what teenagers need from their parents, from their uh, from society, and from their teachers. But before that, still from Higher Heights College, we have someone who will be presenting spoken word in the person of Okoli Chibuzo. Uh, thank you so much, and of course, stay with us. Future leaders of tomorrow. Future leaders of tomorrow. That is who we are. Leaders with a vision. Leaders with a passion. And leaders with a purpose. Our mission is to change lives and to make the world a better place. To impart lives in the investments of our personalities. And that is true success. We are the future leaders of tomorrow. The world is crying out for help, and we are the answer to many nations in our generation. And we are ashamed to say that we are the answers. Because you have the ability and the capacity to do so. And better than us is the power to, to cause changes in the lives of many. It's time to stop poverty. It's time to say no to mediocrity. And it's time to say no to violence. And it's time to say no to a better tomorrow. Because we are the future leaders of tomorrow. Thank you. Wow, amazing. <laughs> okay, it's time to say no to mediocrity. It's time to say yes to a better tomorrow. Because indeed, the kids, can we have one house? Please? Oh my goodness, amazing. You know how it is when you have teenagers. Amazing. Okay, so I think it's time for us to, I think I should allow them to introduce themselves. You are welcome. Sports show here on TV Sapiens. Yeah. My name is Omar, you're very sweet on Radio TV, and you heard from Okuli Chibuzo, a student of Higher Heights College located in GRA here in Onicha. And we have a lot of them in the live studio. Can you say hi to our viewers? Hi. 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 House. <laughs> so happy Children's Day. Say so thank you. Happy thank you. Day. Yeah, yeah. So a welcome. So, uh, what does it feel like being here? It's a good. Yeah, right? Mm -hmm. So, of course, today we'll be having this interesting conversation with all of them. You can see they are all looking so beautiful and so handsome. From High Heights, a college located in GRA. It is a special edition of 20 Sports Show today. We are celebrating the kiddies, we are celebrating the children, we are celebrating the teenagers. So, it's really an important time for parents, teachers, to know exactly what they just think because that is what we are talking about today so i will be starting from angel of course i already called you angel but before you speak just introduce yourself uh tell us uh what exactly as a teenager what exactly do you think our parents should know the society should know go ahead thank you for this opportunity mm. you may have to speak up and I want to thank the director of my school for this opportunity to be here. Mm. So I, I think the teenagers... Your name and the name of your school? My name is Angel Chikembe. Mm. Mm. My school is Highlands College. Mm. I think that teenagers need or they want like, things apart from their, their curriculum. Okay. They want things that are not, they are not always like teaching. They want things that they will need when they like are out of school, okay, for what they need in life, mm. they need like things that they are not just going to like go to school, study, get a degree. They want things that they they can use even if they don't really go to school, so I earn money and have a living. Mm. That's why in my school we have like they give out time for extra curriculum activities mm. to like teach us some skills mm. that will like help us in the future. Okay, um, is it like all teenagers that actually think this way you're thinking? Yeah, I think that's what most of them think. Really? 
Mm. Okay, so we come to you, Kenna. How are you? So tell us what do teenagers need from their parents, the society, the teachers? Go ahead. Your name, the name of your school. Okay, my name is Amiti Kiana. My school, my school name is Saya High School. I think teenagers actually want to be change their, their teachers to be open with them. They want to relate to well with their teachers. Like at my school, Saya High, the teachers and the students have a very, very strong relation. That's why they actually relate really well with their teachers. That's how the teacher actually comes into the class. The students have the urge to learn. But as a parent, I think that parents should not always be their home space from here. Well, I think all the child actually wants just some for the parents to actually sit here or she down and talk to the child. Because mm. I think when your child when you finish when you actually came a child at all sometimes, the child will, be, will become immune to Ken. Mm. That's why when you actually can a child for this, you so practice with the same thing. But so thinking about killing a child, if a child does the wrong thing, the child needs to be disciplined, right? Yes, yes, she So does. If you don't want to be king, why don't you don't just do that? Isn't that as simple as that? It's simple, but as as teenagers, you know that don't actually think this the way parents actually think. They have their own lifestyle. They want to live their own life. They don't want to be about themselves. So, so I think killing a child does not actually work. Okay, you said as teenagers they want to live their life. Don't you think that's a part of being selfish? Okay, let me leave you. Think about it, I'll come back to you. Okay? Alright, let's come to your Baramaka. Go ahead. My name is Abaramaka Wanko, and the name of my school is High Heights College. Well, what parents and teachers need for teens is what teenagers need from their parents and teachers is social needs. Okay? The some some teenagers don't actually feel Save sometimes. They don't actually go out, they don't do anything, just stay at home, do nothing. I want parents to like actually make teenagers feel comfortable for them to go, for them to engage them in social activities like going for sports, going for camping, educational trips. It's actually good that can help them, impact them in future relationships. It can actually help them socialize, relate with other people. Develop their listening skills, help them in problem solving. Actually, make them make good friends, make them feel comfortable. Okay, you're you're advocating for social skills. Yes. Okay, not just locking the teenager indoors. Mm. Yes. Mm. So um, it, it doesn't work out well when the teenager is locked indoors. Yes, because when the teenager is locked indoors all the time, it's actually not good. Okay. Because it. It actually reduces the way the teenager makes friends. Okay. The teenager does not make friends, does not know how to make friends, good friends or bad friends. That's why you see teenagers nowadays when they enter into the university, they don't actually know how to make friends. That's why they go into making bad friends. Okay. Interesting. What an interesting conversation. All right, let's come to you, Brenda. Brenda. I love that name, Brenda. Okay. All right, so as a teenager, do you expect your parents to know uh, the school? What more? Go ahead. My name is H. You may have to speak up. My name is H. Keme Brenda, and the name of my school is Higher Heights College. Hmm. I think that teenagers need to have a personal relationship with God. Okay. And parents have a vital role in that. Examples, hmm. making them read their Bibles, um, taking them to church and church meetings. Like in my school, Higher Heights College, you have morals every morning and the teachers make sure that you listen and you grab something from what they say mm. and you note them down. Mm -hmm. What interesting. That's beautiful. Okay, Afam. Yeah. Um, I'd like to say thank you for this opportunity again. We have to speak out. Okay, I'd like to say thank you for this opportunity again. Mm. Um, what I think the teenagers need is like a working library. Like some teenagers need like that they, they just need to like go to the library and read at their own free time like <coughs> when the teen when the teenager is at home just doing just just lying down on the bed like things leave their head so like they need to like be reading constantly not not uh, like every time like they need to like, sometimes to like just chill out like relax but they need to like be going to the library and be reading because 
they might forget some things that digital autonomy is doing. So you're actually advocating that the society should create uh, libraries yes. where teenagers can go and study, read. Yeah. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, let's come to you, Divine. So, um, in your own opinion, in your own mindset, what do you think parents should know about teenagers? Well, thank you for this opportunity. I want to say a big thank you to my director of higher heights. Um, my name is Divine Shkuli I'm a student of higher heights college. Uh, what I think for like, what I think their parents has to know about the teenagers is. In the aspect of education, you know, some parents, all the, I won't say all they care about, mm. but their, their focus is more is mainly on work, 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 work. Like, work, work, work. Don't you think it's that work that they go to that they bring money? No, like, we know, like, it's okay. the work that brings the money, but, you know, sometimes some parents doesn't, like, give attention to the teenagers, like, okay. their educational aspects, what they know is just to get the food. But they don't like give attention to this to, to their to their teens at all. You know, a child might go to school, do do his daily stuff, do his things at school, come back home. You know, sometimes okay, a, a child a child could have a problem in school, which he couldn't like he which he can't even like express out in school. But it's the work of the parents that when they get like when they get home, it's like their work for for them to get to know what that child needs like what what is going on with that child but you might find the parents let me see she he or she goes to work mm. at the evening they come back home they just eat take their <sighs> dinner bed and they're in their room off to bed yeah so though that will not say won't be selfish because you know so mo most of the time they come back home tired mm. but at least once in a while they should create time they should create time like time for them to get to get engaged with their kids mm. to get engaged and know the problems of their children though know, yes they pay, they pay they pay our school fees they provide for us but you know sometimes that extra care and attention is needed yeah yeah and i would also like, like to like talk more on the career aspect for okay, a child go on, go on. you know mm. a child like always wants to like, like when we grow as children mm. we have, like most of the times we have known what we want in life. Yeah, yeah, you keep saying that you've known how like a child right now. How do you know what you want to be in life? You know, okay, you might come into a family like this. Mm. You might ask a child, what do you want to be in future? You'd be like, I want to be a doctor. Mm. And you know, sometimes parents or people uh, take it as in a play mm. that this is what the child will, uh, this is what my son say. But you know, sometimes a child might like make a decision on and say that this is what like well sometimes you might watch children they watch tv shows they mm. watch um cartoons those they see doctors they be like i want to be like this in future okay so when they get into this country school they be like no i want to go for science courses that this is my vision that mm. when i get to university i want to study doctrine i want mm. to study to be a, a surgeon or an mm. engineer mm. so but well, you might come into a, a, a home you find a parents they'll be like no my, my child is going to be a lawyer. My child is going to be a nurse. Mm. But without them trying to like sit down and watch what that child wants for himself. Okay. You know, that's why you might get to the school. You might find out that the child, like, a child might go into, like, in a, in a, I'll call it SS1. Because SS1 is when, is when the child gets to choose the science, uh, the science, art, the mm. science and the art. Oh, yeah. So, you might... You might, you might say, you might say, parents, he gets to the school authorities, be like, my child is going to do art. Mm. I want him to be a lawyer in future. Mm. Then at the end of the term, the child is not doing well. That that parent might be like, what is going on, with my child? Mm. What is it? Well, it doesn't have. So sometimes it's caused by the child is not like happy. Okay. He's not happy like, like with the, like it's like the parents forcing the child to do what he doesn't really yeah, want to do. You know, I know most of the most of the times the children won't have the mind to speak out like daddy, yeah. I don't want this for myself. So they just have to like go on with what the parents say. Not mm. that the what the parents say or what the parents do is not right. Because you no know, most of the times our parents do what's best for us mm. and what they think is best for us. But parents should like try to sit down and watch the children try to like try to know what the children wants for themselves mm. so that's why in my school higher heights which i'm really proud of mm. uh, our school they really created that time like in ss1 like when i got into ss1 mm. they created that time like to get to the class ask the, the students what they want for themselves like mm. what do you want to be in future what do you want to study then mm. 
with time they watch the children even if sometimes a child might be like i want to be a doctor get into the science because he's not doing well mm. but my school they they have a way of a, a, a way of guiding the children mm. on how to like keep like keep on with, with mm. the chemistry the and that's physics. like that's like a message to all the school yeah. owners who are listening to us yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who are actually watching us to yes. do so much more right yeah okay thank you so much we come to you maya right yeah good thank you so much for this opportunity man okay so and i believe that um parents should actually show a lot of love to their teenagers okay because in most homes nowadays you, you can when you get deep with the teenager they can actually say things like their parents don't actually love them that their parents hate them just because of the way the parents shout at them or punish them so and as teenagers get older parents most parents tend to stop showing that much love like asking them what they want to do what they want to eat are you all right some parents actually stop that it might not be on purpose but okay t the teenagers so they I actually want to be asked what do you want to eat yes <laughs> okay uh, they, they might get a few hearts thinking that their parents don't actually care about them because they don't mm. really ask mm. so um I advise parents to actually talk to their children and you know show them that love because when they're not shown enough love at home they can go outside to go and get that love and when they go outside to get the love it's not actually it, they can get bad friends and it's not actually good enough for them like mm. the love that, that they might get actual outside might be kind of like corrupt but what of the situation let's just look at the situation you know we're we're having a conversation let's just look at the situation even though maybe your parents as a result of what they do they don't have in quotes i'm not making excuses for parents okay maybe they don't have the time just like he's, he pointed out they could be tired all right but he said once in a while okay is that enough for a teenager to go out there seeking for love um, because you know your parents they're the ones taking care of you right paying your school fees feeding you housing you doing everything that other person that you're seeking for love out there, are you sure? How sure are you that they will even do as small as as much as what your parents do? Um, I can say where well, that's where the teenagers are wrong because if they go outside seeking for love, they they will not actually get beautiful, love. beautiful. That was why I painted this picture so that we all know and agree that even though our parents may not do that thing. That we actually expected at least we should give them some level yes. of understanding right yes. and allow them to come around right yeah. do we agree with that yes. yeah good so we come to you thank you for giving me this opportunity I'm you need to speak out okay thank you for giving me this opportunity I'm parents are expected to encourage and support their children in academics they are expected to buy the necessary materials for learning. Charles, mm -hmm. you're not talking to only me. You need to speak out. They are expected to provide the necessary materials for learning. Okay. They are expected to monitor the out-of-school activities. Okay. Like reduce the time for watching televisions. Out-of-school activities like screen time. Yes. So if your parents should stop you from watching TV right now, you'll be happy. <laughs> They are watching, you know, they'll watch this thing someday. <laughs> Will you be happy? Like, your, 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 you watch, which one do you watch? Like, we, we, is it Nicole then? Which one do you watch? I don't, I don't like watching. Okay, what do you watch? <laughs> Tell me now. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, so if they, if they stop you from watching it, will you be happy about it? Not really. Not really. Okay. <laughs> Tell us what you're going to be comfortable with. This is a moment of truth. Tell us what you're going to be comfortable with. Go ahead. Uh, parents should monitor the circle of friends their children work with. Like, okay. They should tell their children not to follow the bad people, and they should follow the right people. Mm. Because of some bad children corrupt the good ones. Okay. Teachers, on the other hand, should monitor should learn to monitor their children in school mm. and show love, embrace them mm. in school and support them 
school. I love the fact that you said teachers should monitor their children, not saying students, because teachers. They also yeah, parents. 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 Good, parents. good. They are also your parents in school, right? Yes. So they are there to support you, encourage you, right? Yes. Good. So we come to you. Your name, man? Yeah, my name is Stephen Prince Wisdom. I'm from High Heights College. Okay. Alright. I'm talking more at aspects of um parents and teachers who have good listening in the Okay. First of all, I will say that teenagers are going to be um, affected in what they hear. Okay. In what they, they, they see. Okay. So, um, what they hear, what they see, despite what the parents told them. So is it possible for your parents to tell you certain things? I mean, your parents tells you this is black. Someone comes, someone else comes and tells you it's white. No, that aspect, that is why they are your parents. Okay. Because you fully trust your parents, they are your parents. You need to listen. That way sometimes, if you go outside, you have like, you see some children, like my mom said this, I will, I, I will remember my mom's mm. So you go by the aspect of your mom, concern your parents. Mm. People outside don't matter, they don't know they are with you all the time. But your parents are there, they know what is right and what is best for you. Mm. So they advise you, they don't advise you only. Mm. They advise you where to what to do. Mm. So I also talk on listening part. Mm. Parents should have good listening ears for your children. Because um like when they were all talking, they said something, they said yeah, when they come out and be tired, they don't have that quite some time. Yes, yes, do yes, it could when they're tired. Mm. But once in a while, come children aside to talk. But like Tell me, what do you pass through in school? What do you pass? What do you face when you go outside? What do you face? What was your experience during the week? Then you talk. When you talk, you see the aspects where they have the issues or aspects when they need solutions to. Mm. Then coming to the aspects of um, the teachers, mm. as such, so you should also um, talk to the uh, stu students mm. because. Like we all say, we all agree that yes, teachers are like modern to the children. Okay. Because when they go out there, teachers are in charge mm. of them because they are one to that that they are their responsibility. Mm. So they want to make sure and uh, make sure the child does the right thing needed for him or her. Mm. So um I will always say that just learn listen to what the children have to say. Okay. What is in the hand, what's as 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 seen or children, uh, they have so many things that passing through. Yeah. They believe by people that they, they are social. Yeah. They have friends. They have you know, I, I'd friends. like to, um, because we don't have time. Do another time we could actually discuss these things. Yeah. You've all talked about teenagers having a lot of things. I'd like to hear from all of you what teenagers are going through, what's in their mind. Yeah. Maybe another time on the program we are going to talk that. Right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Is yeah. that a deal? Yes. Yeah. Great. Go on. So um, they have so many things in their mind. So. Mm. Maybe in school, a child can be bullied. Okay. Why teacher will not know why child is always quiet? Now it's respons the responsibility of the teacher's coach that aside. Mm. Maybe secretly. So and tell him how I or why are you quiet? Teacher can reply mm. and they can find solution to that. Mm. Or maybe you say, What's this word going on? I don't like this word going. Because children are they are they are people on their own. Okay. They are not family. There are people that will soon grow up to be somebody too. Yeah, yeah. So parents, teachers need to work on them. Mm, yeah. Mm. And the parents too should always I, I always say always because when as I was growing up I was once like I was a thing like attention needed. So parents and teachers, parents should always have good attention to their children. Don't allow a child to be yeah, you see them. That's why some things, you know, actually if I see the children, I'll say, well now maybe for one reason or another I want to bring them. Because it's the little parents to sit down, talk to your child, know what your child is person through. Maybe one, two of these reasons why you're acting like this or why you're acting like that. Yeah, yeah. So, like, in schools, schools should be advised to. It's not only you enter class, teach, and leave. Maybe as the form teacher or the form teacher, you should know what your children are to them. That's why I always appreciate my Squire at college. Mm. For that, all that dream very well. Mm. You know, sometimes you have all this free relationship with them. Mm. Mm. You go still call you. What are you? Come. Why are you quiet? Why are you not talking? Why are you 
they were trying to know what you're passing through. Yeah. To give you the solution, to advise you what to do. Mm. It's not only write your notes, do this. No. It's the aspect of it. Because we sometimes you're at home. Maybe let's say if a child passed through some days, maybe you came out from house, from mm. your house, angry, rushing to school. I think maybe some games I said of example. Maybe if, if I come out from my house very angry and I'm reaching to school, I have this kind of peace mentality that once I reach to school, I feel at home. I feel wow. peace, you know. So um I'm like all I reach is call see my friends, at least I have people to talk to. Wow. People I can at least have a smiling face with. Mm. So um actually I really actually it's not everybody's free. Teachers talk, everybody talk. So I should advise schools too. They should make a that school an open place. Uh, a place to embrace welcome children. embrace children welcome. yeah i think that will be uh the final note for us okay. if i allow you you're going to talk like i said you're going to come again and again and again we have a lot of things to talk about and i i think i i enjoy you i enjoy hearing from you and most importantly that thing that is in the head of teenagers i want to hear it maybe on another another time and thank you so much for being here uh, you've all said a lot of thank you to your school proprietor, Dickness Uzo Ejikeme. I mean, I, 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 I believe she's doing a great job. That's why you keep saying, that's why I love my school. High height, I love my school. That's good. And this is actually to all school owners. I think you should come to a point where your students should be very proud of you. Your students should be bold to say, I love my school. I love my teachers. I love what my school is doing because it's all about impact. I think we should come from that part where we see school as a place where um, it's buying and selling. School is not buying and selling. You are raising generation. You are raising impact and change makers. People that will make great impact in the society. Thank you so much to students from High Heights College. And like I said, they are going to come again because yeah. we have a lot of things to talk about yeah. and they will come again and you get to hear from them. It's been a 20 spot show and of course today is uh, Children's yeah. Day. So what do you say to children all over the world? Happy, happy Children's, Children's Day. Day! So happy Children's Day from me to every one of you. Mm -hmm. God bless you. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 <laughs>